light the way for me. Without your touch, I cannot see. Lead me in to love. I'm deep in that miracle, of, deep in that miracle of you, baby. Uh -huh. Oh, Anita, I love the way you sing that. Bring it to me, baby. I need you to bring me the miracle. Honey, won't you? Y'all know I ain't supposed to be singing, right? So I got to stop this before they uh, flag my channel. But how y'all doing today? I hope you're doing fine, family. I'm glad to be back. And I'm glad to be on this side of the dirt. All right? With that being said, I want to give my condolences, first and foremost, to the family of Mr. Leon Andre, Leon Talley. He's dead at 73, and they said that um, he had a, a heart attack, actually. Um, he's, he, he was Vogue's editor at large, and he passes away from, a comp, from a COVID complications at a New York City hospital three years after his friendship with Anna Wittner ended when she froze him out for being too old, overweight, and uncool. Hmm. Fashion icon and former Vogue creator director Andre Leon Talley passed away at a hospital in White Plains at the age of 73. You know, he reported cause of his death as a heart attack, but a longtime friend said he passed away of COVID complications and had an underlying health issues related to his weight. Uh, Tally comes, uh, death comes just three years after his decade long friendship, his decades long friendship with Vogue editor in chief Anna Wintour ended when she froze him out for being too old, overweight, and too uncool. Ain't that something? Despite being left with a huge emotional and psychological scar, he could he credits Wintour along with Diana Vreeland and Andy Warhol for shaping his uh, career. Tally was recognized as one of the driving forces behind Vogue's success. See, so they could have just had him on as, as an advisory. But to kick him out like that, see, that's how they do you. Now, let me make sure I got enough time that's to pass, but I really can say what I want to say. That's exactly. That's the way they do. They use you and spit your ass out now. And you have to realize that when you go into this game with them, okay, that they got they got it coming for you. you you're going to get it. You just don't know when. Okay, so you keep on thinking like you're going to be the special one, but you ain't. You still a nigga. Still a nigga. And that's what how they feel in this society about you. Uh, unfortunately, nobody likes to hear me talk that way, but that's the real, real deal. Um, anyway, um, he's remembered as, a, like I said, a driving force behind Vogue's success. And he served as the magazine's long acclaimed creative director uh, through the 80s and the 90s. His his um, you know, his 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 claim to fame is just unmatched. Uh, he said in a memoir in 2020 that he felt a huge emotional and psychological scar from his friendship with the notoriously icy editor. He said, I will not criticize her, he said with Vulture. My book is an ep epistle to everyone that I love. It's a love letter to Anna Winter. I love her deeply. Um, because when we love, we love for real. 
And when people disappoint us, um, there's nothing we can do but go and lick our wounds. You know, sometimes the hate comes in the most, it comes from the most inconspicuous place where it makes you really reevaluate, you know, how this person really felt about me. You know, this person really didn't give a damn about me. And all those decades I gave you, you see what I'm saying? And that's the situation that Leon Talley found himself in. And I know how that feels because I myself have been in that situation. And it's all part of the game. You know, just chalk it up. Anyway, the larger than life, he was 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> Woo! Leon Talley was a tall one. Also, uh, he was a stylist for the first family during uh, the Barack Obama's presidency. So in case a lot of y'all was wondering how and why they, the first family was so stylish, uh, that is one of the reasons why. Because of Leon Talley and his, <laughs> his uh, styling of the first family, the first black family in the White House. Uh, you know, it's amazing to me how that he worked with that editor, Anna Wintour, for, several, for all those years, and he thought he developed such a close friendship with her. And then she froze him out. You know, I mean, it's just insane. So he's probably got a better feeling than I got about it. It keeps you humble, but at the time, same time, it makes you second guess your pickers, you know, as you said, it caused a great psychological harm to him. He uh, he was detailing his fallout when he, in his book when he claimed that there was um, there was an endless list of writers, stylists, and models who she has cast into the frayed and tattered heap during her powerful rule. In a scorching passage, he wrote. She is immune to anyone other than the powerful and the famous people who propagate the pages of old. She has mercilessly made her best friends people who are the highest in their chosen fields. Serena Williams, Roger Federer, Mr. and Mrs. George Clooney are to her friends. I am no longer of value to her. Tally's dismissal from the court of the woman known as the nuclear wind tour was all the more bitter because they were so close and she made his career. Basically Tally's dismissal from the court of the woman known as the nuclear wind tour was very hard on him spiritually and psychologically. When they were in their closest, he was one of the few dozen people invited to her wedding and she staged an intervention because his weight had got out of control. He pinned that when he started out in fashion and journalism, Wintour was the creative director at Vogue, and she became a powerful ally of his. Hmm. Flooding, following the news of his death, tributes to the fashion leader, flooded social media. He was remembered as incredible and groundbreaking, groundbreaking with many expressing how deeply he will be missed. Model Coco Roca issued her condolences and shared her final uh, conversation with him. I'm so glad to hear that my friend, the incredible Andre Leon Talley, has, I'm so sad to hear that he has passed away. He was a legendary figure in the fashion world and walking encyclopedia of knowledge. His final departure words to me was, nothing matters in this world but family and love. And you have it. I hope in the moments before he passed, he recalled how much he was loved by the extended family he had built over the many decades in this industry. He will certainly be missed. Um, you know, actress Mila Jovovich posted to her Instagram page a photo of herself in Tally and wrote, I can't believe what a force of nature has left us today. 
Andre Leon Talley was such an incredible artist, but he was also one of the most genuinely wonderful human beings I've ever met. Always there with the most beautiful smile and open arms. He was sweet and kind. Always so gracious, and I mean, I imagine the term fierce was coined after meeting him. I feel so lucky to have been embraced in his warm glow so many times in my career because good people are few and far between in this business, and you're much more likely to meet a scowl when you go in places than his ever-present, all-encompassed lovingness. I will send you so much love, Andre, because it was a privilege and an honor. And there was a lot of people that sent their um, condolences um, from David Allen Greer uh, to Sonny Hostin, uh, who said, I adore Leon Talley. Rest in peace, legend. Uh, Tamron Hall. Uh, he was truly a beautiful guy. Deborah Cox. Bette Mittler. Uh, Holly Robinson Pete. Um, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Tally began his career in the fashion at the age of 28 after snaring a job as a reporter at a women's, um, daily wear at women's daily wear women's wear daily. I'm sorry. <laughs> He also served as the judge on America's Next Top Model. You guys remember that with, uh, who was that, Tyra Banks? So, um, rest in peace in the fashion world um, to uh, Andre Talley, Leon. Uh, wow. You know, there were some other uh, comments, you know, that came through with um, folks like Janelle Monet and others who appreciated everything about Andre Leon Talley. You know, his pictures with him and Tommy Hilfiger and all the rest of them. But what I want to say is he left his mold, um, his mold on Vogue. And you can't say Vogue without thinking about uh, Leon. So, Leon Talley, rest in peace. And now you're now dressing the ancestors. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.